Hello traders, this is Hugh. I got an email recently from uh, Mohammed, and he was asking how to change the leverage in Forex Tester 2. So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to do that. So first of all, in the upper left-hand corner here, you want to be in History Mode. So make sure History Mode is checked there. And then you can go to Tools, Symbols List, and just pick the symbol for the uh, pair that you're going to be testing. So in this example, let's take the US um, Japanese Yen. So you go to Edit Symbol, and then here is where you can set up your default lot size, um, your swap long and swap short, which is the interest that you'll be making on the position, and the margins. So if, you're, if this confuses you a little bit, don't worry, it's not as confusing as it seems. First of all, you want to take a look at your default lot size here. If you're going to be trading micro lots, which are a thousand units, then you want to set this to a thousand. If you want to test using mini lots, which are ten thousand units, you set that to ten thousand. And if you're going to be trading full size lots, then you set that to a hundred thousand. So in this case, let's just use uh, mini lots, which are ten thousand units. So we're going to have ten thousand here. As for the margin, it can be roughly calculated using this formula. In this case, if you're going to be trading with four hundred to one leverage and you're using 10,000 units, you just divide 10,000 by 400, and you're roughly going to get about $25 in margin per lot traded. Now if you're going to use 50 to 1 leverage, you just take 10,000 units and you divide it by 50, and you're going to approximately have to put up about $200 in margin. And keep in mind this is in US dollars, and uh, these numbers are not exact obviously because of exchange rates. Um, if you're going to be trading micro lots, which are 1,000 units, then you just subtract a zero here, you subtract a zero here, so you're going to get 20 and $2.50. And if your leverage lies anywhere in between these two, then you can just adjust this number you divide by accordingly. So in this case, if I have 10,000 units here, I'm just going to put in $25 if I'm trading at 400 to 1. So uh, it says margin for one lot and margin hedged. Um, if you use a hedging strategy, the margin might be different, so that's something you want to find out from your broker. But if you don't use a hedging strategy, then that's no big deal, and people in the U.S. can't hedge anyway, so we wouldn't use that at all. The best way to actually find out your margin is to you know, put on, put on a demo trade, actually, and see how much margin you have to put up for that trade. And you can plug that number into here. Or you can just look on their website. Or if you call them or email them, I'm sure they could tell you how much that is. But for testing purposes, an approximation is fine. I wouldn't go through the trouble of trying to be exact. So that's how you change the margin requirements within Forex Tester. Then you want to click on Apply. And then you want to either import your data, or if you have imported it already, then you want to generate your ticks for testing. So in this case, we would do the US Yen and generate and you can see how to do that completely in another video. So that's how you change your margin requirement. Um, I hope that helped Mohammed, and I hope that helped you out too. Thanks for watching.